more romance again. Um, <laughs> but uh, I guess I'll read this one now. At that moment, teens and trade. Oh, sorry. There's one more thing I have to mention. During this age, uh, the dragons developed this uh, tournament called the Tournament of Kings, and this is a this part explaining uh, the Tournament of Kings. At that moment, games and trading posts were opening. The Tournament of Kings wasn't just a competition. It was a massive market and carnival. I have a friend in the Purple Tribe, said White Lizard. He should have a store here, and he can help us find this purple dray we're looking for. He usually sets his shop up towards the west side of the Sun Woods. They followed a narrow dirt path, passing many things. Blue and a group of blue dragons were having a prey eating contest. There were fish bones scattered everywhere. The group also passed a jewelry store, a teeth sharpener, and one of the tournaments. <laughs> the Tournament of Kings was complicated, but Treepalm had slowly learned how it worked from one of the older members of the Green Tribe. There were several uh, competitions, and the victors were chosen by judges called the Shazar. There was one Shazar for each tournament, and that judge specialized in each event. But there was also a head Shazar, who served as a judge for every tournament. Frogleaf was the head Shazar. Ten different dragons uh, participated in the Tournament of Kings every year, each competing in all of the events. At each event, the Shazar picked the five worst competitors, and the head Shazar chose the five best. The dragon who did the worst received one point. The top dragon earned ten points. The dragon with the most points at the end of the tournaments was named Dragon King for the Year and was rewarded with an enormous pile of prey. The first event that Tree Palmer and his friends witnessed was the battle tournament. There were two large pe uh, pedestals, one for the battle Shazar and one for the head Shazar. Frog Leap, thought Tree Palm. He hadn't seen his mentor for quite a while. That's stunk, said Beast Thing, pointing at the battle Shazar, a scrawny yellow draw. He's my cousin, kind of an awkward little fellow. Dragons of various colors watched the event, even a few young Dracos alongside their parents. The battle tournament was one of the most challenging events. There was a large board that listed the names of the ten participating dragons. Honey Tree, Frost Beetle, Stormblaze, Mormus, Street Deg, Huge Flint, Firestopper, Snow Eye, Balgrim, and Rage. That's the end of that part. Uh... A rage is a very important character in the uh, third age. I won't spoil too much about him, but he's a very, very important character. Uh, does anybody have any questions? Benjamin. Uh, two things. First, where do you get the tight cover of the Tournament of Kings? Well, uh, that uh, can you tell me. Luke's mom found that. Um, it's online, you can buy the art, and we bought it and used it for the cover of the book. Oh. And what page were you reading from? Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, well, he said, um, I plan to write more of these books. Well, I'm not exactly, well, I'm definitely planning to write more books. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to make a uh, another book in this, if it becomes a series, but uh, some people have asked me that, so maybe I will. Uh, right now, I'm actually writing another book, which I might read uh, a little later. The other book I'm writing right now is called Griffin Blade and the Bronze Finger. This is all I have of it right now. Um, <laughs> How did you get the title? Like, how did you think of the name? Well, the, the name uh, uh, wasn't that hard. Well, basically, I thought it, it was, was actually the very beginning of the book. They, they named the valley they live in Dragon Valley. So I decided to name it that. <laughs> What's going to be the most challenging part of writing a book of this size? Um, uh, he asked what was the most challenging part of writing this book. I, I'm not exactly sure. I mean, at parts, I think really the hardest part for me, it was actually the middle of the book. I had a huge writer's block then, like a two-month writer's block. Um, and but uh, I got back to it. And eventually, I got past that writer's block, and then I, I finished the book. Over there. And how did you know you were done with your book? How did I know I was done with my book? Well, actually, at the very beginning, before I even started writing the book, I, I knew the ending. I knew exactly what the ending was going to be. And I, so yeah, <laughs> that's how I knew the <laughs> ending. 
How did I get the whole book? Yeah, she's asking how did you get the whole book? How, how did I make it? No, how did you like get the whole book so Oh. <laughs> So how do we ship the books? It's kind of a complicated answer. Uh, we, you can, there's a place online, if you go to Amazon.com, and sell lots of books. They also let people publish their own books, and they help print them for you, and they send it to you. Over here. So you write it freehand in a journal. I'm surprised you don't do it on a computer. Yeah, well, I'm actually uh, way faster uh, at writing it longhand than actually doing it on the computer, and so. Uh, I, I actually started out uh, when I was really young. I didn't really have a computer even with me at the time, so I just started writing it. I kept writing it that way. So there's three it, whole journals of it. Are you ever going to switch over to, like, you know, a computer? Uh, soon, I'm sure. <laughs> what advice would you give to other kids here that think they might want to write as well? Hmm. Well, like my dad said, you have to read a lot. <laughs> a lot. I, I read at least a book a week, so... <laughs> Um, and also, you just have to have a really good idea of what you want to do, and then you just try, try to complete it. If you can, that's great. <coughs> Is there any plans that you mentioned Amazon.com? Any plans to have an ebook version? Actually, there uh, I think is an ebook version already. Already. Okay. Also, there's a Kindle and Nook version. <laughs> Yes, it's a chapter book. There are 30 pages. I'm sorry, 30 chapters. Um, any more questions? Oh, okay. Yeah, out of all those books you've read, do you have a favorite or a favorite author? Actually, I have uh, three favorite authors. Um, Christopher Paolini, the author of the Aragon series. Uh, J.R.R. Tolkien. Uh, and uh, a man named D.J. MacHale, who wrote these uh, books about uh, called Pendragon. They're about this uh, boy who travels to different dimensions. Pretty cool. and authors do a Facebook page where people can communicate things about the author's work. For example, Lori King, who is a mystery writer who lives in Watsonville. Um, are you and your family plans planning a Facebook page where people can discuss your, your book, your books? Be I'm sure you'll be writing more. The question is, is Luke going to have a Facebook page? Uh, uh, I have a Facebook page where I've been promoting the book. <laughs> <laughs> I've responding uh, a lot. Um, I think maybe when he gets a little older, well, I think the book could have a Facebook. The book, could, you're right. That's true. We should have that. We'll do that. Okay, any other questions? Are you yeah. planning on visiting any other libraries or towns? Are we planning on visiting any other libraries or towns? Uh, I hope I can. <laughs> Hopefully, maybe. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Does anyone else have any other questions? Okay, we really, really do appreciate everyone um, showing up. I just, I thought it might be fun. Um, well, do you want to do that or not? Actually, just let people find it. Uh, no, okay, he wants to read the name. He wants to read just the first two paragraphs of his next book that he started that is really, really fun and good. So that'll be kind of fun, a little teaser for the next book. <coughs> First of all, this book doesn't involve dragons at all. So. <laughs> I, I little, I'd rather take a break from dragons. <laughs> and another thing that probably should be noted, the main character of this book is a, is a bad guy. 
but he's a good-hearted bad guy. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, it's got. It's, I, I'm pretty sure the book's gonna be called Ripley Lay in the Bronze Finger. So this is gonna be the beginning of chapter one. Griffin heard shouts coming from the other room. Last, he muttered. In his hand, he held the Hayamahu Jewel, a priceless emerald that he had just stolen. Five Imperial Guards rushed into the room. They were polished iron plate armor and carried blue shields with the crest of the Imperial Guards. An orange lion, its head, uh, its uh, mouth coiled back in a snarl. <laughs> Griffin put the jewel in his leather pouch and took out his crossbow. He had only two bolts remaining. Last, he said again. He shot the closest guard in the thigh and quickly shot another uh, in the shoulder. All he had left was a throwing knife. He threw one high onto the wall and it buried itself into it. Griffin then took his rope from his pack, tied it in a loop, and threw it at the blade, at the knife. He ate perfectly. Griffin then climbed onto the rope until he reached the top. He threw another knife just below a window. Holding on with his legs, he tied the other side of the rope into a loop and threw it at the other knife. His aim again was true, and it went through the, uh, around the knife. Griffin had done it all in about 10 seconds. He strode across the rope as he would on the ground as the guards washed their mouths open. Once Griffin reached the open window, he turned around, faced the guards, and winked. He didn't see anything. He then dropped to the ground below. So look for that in about a year and a half. <laughs> um, all right, thank you again for coming. The books are for sale, $10 each. Half the money's going right to the library. And, um, um, and if, you know, if, you, if you go to school with Luke and you wanna, if you've already purchased the book, and you want them to just sign it at school, you could do it that way too, something like that, so to save some time. Okay? Uh, you have one more question, Ben? I just want to go back. Yeah. One more thing. Did Dan Lee at least try one other book? Because you can't leave a cliffhanger. Oh! Anyway, there is a glossary in the back, though, and there's a map. It's a lot of fun. But anyway, thank you for coming. I really appreciate it.